This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Okay, now and again people get in touch, and that's been the case um, the past week or so, saying, why don't you do anything a bit heavier than the sort of classic rock, blues rock, dad rock kind of shtick that you feature a lot on the channel? And, you know, I've responded to that. I've done recently, I've done a Metallica solo. I did a Black Sabbath solo a little bit before that. Uh, and, well, today you don't get much heavier than these lads. Um, this is a real blast from the past for me. It um, it really brings back memories of being absolutely full to the gills on Mad Dog 2020 and head banging away at the uh, youth club disco. This is the solo from Motorhead's Ace of Spades, followed by a brief explanation on, you know, how to play it and what's going on. Here it is. Okay, not a whole lot to talk about in this solo, really. We've got, as ever, uh, the chord sequence, which is uh, just two chords. Uh, it starts on an A5 chord for two bars, for sorry, for four bars. Goes up to a B5 chord for four bars, and then back to an A5 chord for four bars. And that's it. And all that happens is we're playing the minor pentatonic of each of those two power chords at the relevant point. So because we start over the A5 chord, uh, we're going to start with an A minor pentatonic lick. And it goes like this, starting with the open A string. And then... There we go. So... And... Uh, then we have this little kind of pull-off bass, like this repetitive thing, which uh, I've interpreted as that. Now, I have seen some transcriptions of this solo where it's written simply as that. But I'm convinced if I listen really carefully, I can hear it coming back to this note, the G note, after the E note, almost as like a grace note. So I've included it in the uh, the transcription. Like that, okay? And then the, uh, the first A minor pentatonic section of the solo rounds off with... Strictly speaking, that's not A minor pentatonic because we're bending the A note up to a B, which isn't in A minor pentatonic, but we'll let that one pass. We then move up to the B5 chord for the B minor pentatonic section of it, which goes... There's that first little B minor pentatonic. Again, just moving that um, pattern that we had for A minor pentatonic this kind of thing, up two frets, so it now becomes B minor pentatonic. At which point we then move into some double stops coming out of position two of uh, B minor pentatonic. There's the scale pattern and it's just that. Um, just play it as fast as you can, just kind of that kind of thing and after a bar kind of sitting on that uh, what we then do is just kind of move that chromatically up from this F sharp A uh, pair of notes here to this B D pair of notes here again so all of those notes are in the uh, B minor pentatonic and just treat the tab as a guide really here because um, it's just a case of moving that up uh, one fret at a time, that shape, until you're there and don't worry about how long you spend on each individual uh, kind of move, each individual fret as you're moving it up. Um, so, that kind of thing, basically. Uh, then we're back into A minor pentatonic because with, with the chord has changed to an A5 once again. And A minor pentatonic, uh, this pattern here, for the most part. Position four of A minor pentatonic, and we 
we begin uh, this A minor section with... There we go, just straight out of that um, pattern there. Then a kind of descending hammer-on pull-off lick with a bit of a bend in there, uh, which where, where we actually get another B note creeping in via the bend. So it's... Um, Here that is slowly. And then this uh, triplet bass lick here. You can hear that's very much um, like a, a kind of a triplet y kind of uh, rhythm that's happening there. And then we're back into the riff of the song. And there you have it. That's the solo from the classic Motorhead Ace of Spades. And of course, there is a full tab for that solo along with a jam track and that little clip of me playing it and uh, explaining what's going on. That's all up on my Patreon page. There's the address link in the description. Uh, just an, a way of me saying thank you to all of the wonderful people who support me on Patreon. It's only $3 a month and you get all of these additional resources that go along with these YouTube lessons. If you're not interested in uh, a regular commitment of uh, a Patreon subscription, then you might be interested in this new product that's also available it's called the jam bundle which is the saturday jams that i do uh just it's a i think it's a dozen different guitar solos that i've uh, tabbed out uh there's and demonstrated and explained all my own kind of solos um you know uh, just the saturday jams uh all tabbed out explained jam tracks etc etc 25 quid and you get loads of licks and jam tracks in return for all of that if you are just looking to make a one-off purchase uh, thank you in advance if you're thinking of doing so and thank you in advance if you're supporting the thinking of supporting the channel in any other way and thank you very much indeed to all those people who already are it is truly truly appreciated thank you guys i am really grateful and that is pretty much it for you today folks hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful and if you have please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not give me like while you're at it and with that i'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time stay well folks stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now